So we got these two sun-shaped objects. Big sun, little sun. Right in a row. Looks like the crack runs through it. I wonder if these are like more mortar and pestle um, grinding marks. So today is kind of special. I'm uh, out in California on the Pacific Crest Trail and I am going to go find some Native American petroglyphs. Evidently there is a big slab of rock up on the hillside here that is covered with uh, ancient petroglyphs. So I'm going to go out there, um, get some good pictures, show you guys around, and uh, fly my drone over them and try to capture them as much as possible from above um, without walking all over there and damaging them. So I think it'd be really cool to um, make a video where I uh, have all the petroglyphs laid out and uh, maybe we try to decipher what they mean or uh, figure out kind of if there's any sort of theme to the petroglyphs. Um, looks like there's a bunch of um, maybe celestial symbols on them, this typical animals, um, stuff like that. Let's uh, head up there and check up there. If I were going to make a petroglyph, where would I put it? My heart is beating so fast. Not from the height or elevation, but just from the prospect of what I'm gonna find up here. Here's a question. Do you think it would be a flat or vertical surface? That's another question. This looks like a good spot, but pretty weathered. Is it a geocache? Nice. I think I'm in the right spot. you can see that. If not, I'll have to adjust the video contrast layer. So you got like a, like a looks like a soccer ball shape, like a, some kind of bug, a star. Wow. Got like a sun here, a little sun. Kind of reminds me of like the the big horn medicine wheel kind of shape. Try to get an angle here, see if we can get all these pictures. You know, I wonder what it would have been like. I wonder if they had rituals up here. I mean, it's a beautiful spot. I know that the Native Americans worship the sun um, in many cultures. Um, well, let's keep looking. <laughs> 
Let's see what else we can find. So we got these two sun-shaped objects. Big sun, little sun, right in a row. And then, come over here, have another big sun. And these shapes aren't, uh, these ones aren't really lined up with each other at all. So for me, the, the interesting ones, most interesting ones are these two in a straight line. And we got the sun right over there. I wonder, wonder when those would, uh, when those would line up um, with the sun. Look at this small one here. Um, we put so much stock in little pictures from the past, right? Like you think about all the, you know, crazy cave art that shows like ancient aliens or something like that. And as much as I would like to believe that, I also know we do cartoons today, right? Um, we definitely have our comic books and um, fake heroes and things that make us things that make us laugh and are interesting. But um, if we dug out a Superman book a thousand years from now, we wouldn't assume that was what was happening, right? So it's just a kind of interesting thing in my mind to play around with. You know, obviously ancient peoples had fantasy as well, had imaginations, had creativity, and would draw stuff down just like we would doodle on a notepad, so. Now, these two things right here are very interesting to me. Um, they run right along this crack, but it's hard to tell if this was something that would have... Looks like the crack runs through it. I wonder if these are like more mortar and pestle um, grinding marks. I think that's what they are. They're so perfectly ground. They must have used these to grind up something, maybe some herbs or something. You know, something for a ritual perhaps? I really don't know. I'm just completely speculating. That is very interesting. My eyes are starting to trick me into thinking I'm seeing petroglyphs everywhere now. Every little line of light and every little mark. I keep wondering, ooh, is that a, is that a petroglyph? I'll be so sad if I watch this video back later and I'll see something on the video I didn't see in person. Wow, that's a really nice, really nice big slab of rock up there. 